now, please welcome Perry Sontag. I scared myself recently. I bought a Tupperware cake carrier. Got a little too excited about it. Oh my God, I've become my grandmother, I'm thinking, as I'm standing there showing my husband how it comes with a convenient carrying handle. <laughs> the next thing I know, I'm looking into how I can throw a Tupperware party of my own and what I need to do to score the Crystal Wave lunch set. <laughs> Me, Perry Sontag. I once wore one earring and hung out in the East Village. I tied my hair up in hankies like Madonna. Now I'm getting excited over freshness. <laughs> when did this happen? Wasn't I just... Wasn't I just shopping for Boy George coats and waking up before I go-go? Now I'm literally waking up before I go-go. <laughs> Twice a night. I used to party like it's 1999. Now I can barely keep my eyes awake for Dancing with the Stars. And I get my jollies at the supermarket trying to scam coupons for items I didn't buy. You know, it, it's sick, really. <laughs> I get a psychotic thrill out of giving that checkout girl a coupon for Lysol tub and tile cleaner when I really bought the disinfectant spray. <laughs> and if I can scam by by passing off a coupon that's expired, that's up there with having Ed McMahon come to my door. <laughs> what can I tell you? I'm getting frugal in middle age. Sneak my own refreshments into the movie theater now. How many of you do that? Okay, I started small, a bottle of water in the coat pocket, little Ziploc baggie with a few pretzels. Now I walk right by those ticket-taking Nazis with a two liter of Diet Coke, a bowl of dip, onion dip, and a full-size, family-size bag of Tostitos. <laughs> you know, I remember my friend Patrice Epstein's mother in the fifth grade used to practically make her open her birthday presents with a tweezer so that she could keep the wrapping paper. How cheap, I'm thinking. I'm really sympathizing with my friend's inability to just tear into her new Partridge Family album. <laughs> then last December, I got all Martha Stewart on my family, started handcrafting my own holiday gift bows. They were so lovely, I took them out of the trash when my guests left. <laughs> now, my husband, my husband wants to make sure this doesn't happen again. He watches me closely now. He's seen a too few many episodes of Hoarders. He thinks it starts with gift wrap, escalates to newspapers, and the next thing you know, you're collecting your own urine in a skippy jar. <laughs> what do you guys think? You think hipness has an expiration date? <laughs> you think you just reach some day, October 17th, 2000, whatever, where you start reusing aluminum foil? <laughs> and stealing the plastic forks from Chipotle's cutlery buffet. <laughs> the next thing you know, you're stuffing breadsticks in your purse at the Olive Garden, and you're saying things like, what? They want you to take these. They can't serve these again. <laughs> Listen, people, I'm already stealing all the amenities from this hotel. When my roommates weren't looking this morning, I grabbed the shampoo, the conditioner, the face wash, the body soap, the sewing kin, at the King James Bible. <laughs> What's wrong with me? When the housekeeper wasn't looking, I grabbed a few more things off her cart. <laughs> anyway, I'm not only getting frugal in my 50s, I'm starting to lose my mind. The other day, I went to go pick something off the printer. I walked right past my office into the kitchen. I stood there bewildered, wondering why in the hell I was there. <laughs> this is why I'm fat. <laughs> While I figured it out, I thought I might as well have a Twinkie. <laughs> you know, I'm scared. I'm thought, I, I bet Graham once thought she was happening in her flapper dress and Marcel wave. Is it a slow boat one takes to that floral sleeveless house coat? Or do you just snap one day and run to Kmart? When do you decide, I don't ever want anything new or fashionable again. That's it, I'm laminating my furniture so I can stick to it in a heat wave. You know what? I don't want a vacuum anymore. I want to be able to wipe down my couch with Windex. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> Harry 
Sonntag. Ja, 